Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, hello, my name is Twee. Today we have such a fun video. I actually transformed myself into a drag queen to celebrate Pride Month this month. I actually learned how to do drag queen makeup when I was in makeup school and also when I used to work at MAC, we had to do drag queens all the time. I know a lot of people was asking me to do some Pride makeup looks, but maybe do something a bit different. So I thought I'd follow along a drag queen makeup tutorial. I literally learned so many makeup tips in this video. Honestly, most of the time they look like a better woman than me. So if you guys want to see how I created this look, then please keep watching. Okay guys, we're gonna get started. I might have to break halfway because your girl is gonna take out her contraceptive implant today. I already spoke about it on Sunday's vlog. If you guys haven't seen it yet, go check it out. Okay, so I literally just have moisturizer on my skin and we are gonna be watching a drag queen makeup tutorial, Ariel Versace's bubblegum bitch makeup tutorial. Hey guys, it's your girl Ariel Versace from RuPaul's Drag Race season what? 11. And today we're gonna do a tutorial on my signature Ooh. bubblegum bitch look. Bubblegum bitch. fabulous, pink, multicolor, sexy, you can look like New Jersey trash, just like me. They go from New Jersey this trash. Here I come. To this. Wow, yes. that's an amazing transformation, guys. Oh, oh wow, look at those bottom lashes. Oh. First step. I love the song. Go fill your face with a ton of Juvederm because makeup oh. can't fix ugly girl. Oh. I'm just kidding. Just go put on some really good primer and you'll be fine. I've got a face full of We're Juvederm, going to girl. Cover the Check. Brows because. You know, <laughs> if I just use my real brows, she's gonna look like a good old caveman. So oh, a caveman. Down. I wish I had caveman brows. Some glue stick. We're gonna I'm holding on to every there. single hair that I have. You're already a woman. Look at you. You are doing great, sweetie. <laughs> He's using a glue stick, which just I don't have. Just draw the brows have. a little bit higher because it really helps just kind of feminize the face. I mean, like if you're into that, you know, you want to look straight up womano. And then womano. I'm gonna brush them downwards because we're just gonna layer this glue on. Oh my on. God. So he's putting the hair and down and up brush, again. And you're just gonna take a little brush and you're gonna brush it all up. Upward. Oh my god, why does this look so scary to me? It just looks clumpy. How is it gonna get it so flat? Finger, it's crazy. It oh yes, the finger, okay, gets rid of all the gunk. And you're just gonna keep okay. going in with multiple layers of glue stick. Okay, so I'm gonna be using soap. This is a really, really good soap to flatten out your brows. It's literally called Pears. You can buy it on Amazon or at your local supermarket. So I'm gonna start off by wetting the soap just with some Urban Decay All Nighter Setting Spray. And I'm gonna use a Benefit Precisely My Brow. I'm just gonna take the spoolie, then I'm just gonna take a bit of that soap. I need to find a container for this soap because it's just kind of like sitting in the packet. I'm just working the soap into the eyebrow spoolie, and then I'm just gonna push this soap into my brows, and you wanna get this as flat as possible. So you really wanna work the soap into the brows. I'm just gonna use the other side of the Precisely My Brow, and I'm just gonna take that and flatten it. Oh my god, my brows are so freaking stubborn. I'm like trying to push it down with all my might. And also a little tip, the only way that you know if your brows are flat is if you look from the side, if there's any hair pinging out, you need to glue that sucker down. Otherwise you'll see so much texture in your brows. Okay, my brows are full on spiked. I literally look like Sonic the Hedgehog right now. All right, now we're gonna uh, powder this down. Okay, Make so sure powder's the next nice step. And, set. and you can use just like a, um, a colored powder, a white Ooh, powder. that's a big ass powder, powder puff. Works. I think I should bring out my handy dandy Laura Mercier powder. This is a really nice thick powder, so I feel like it will fill in all the little gaps in the brows really, really well. Okay, I'm gonna keep layering up the powder on top of the soap to make sure all the crevices are filled, because you'll find that if you've got thick hair like me, you'll get lots of like little lines. This looks crazy! Okay, our brows are powdered. Look how flat they are, guys. <laughs> We're gonna use a little bit of primer now all over the face. This is actually just aftershave balm because Ooh, okay. it is cheap. Do you guys remember when Nikki Torres made the aftershave balm from Nivea so popular? I actually bought it and it was so shit. Take a little bit of that okay. on the forehead. Try to like avoid putting it on your brows. Nah, I mean. Nah, I mean. Now that we got the face good and primed, it is ready to be painted. Okay, so I'm gonna go in with a Fasali liquid glass as my primer. He said try to avoid the brows, so I'm not gonna put any on my forehead because I do not want a mess happening, okay? Alrighty, so the next step is foundation and contour. This is where the drag queen comes to life. I honestly love the way that drag queens contour their face. It's so amazing. Take a little bit of foundation and we're just gonna- Oh, he's going in with a cat ball D. Just put on as much as you want. Oh, okay. He's going in heavy. Okay, Kat Von D is a thick foundation, so we're you gonna need the full coverage. You want your foundation to be so thick 
You want your skin to be saying, this is not good. Oh, hell no, girl. It's not good. Okay, so the foundation that I'm going to use is the Vanish Seamless Liquid Foundation in the shade Warm Ivory. This is a very, very full coverage thick foundation. So as Ariel said, we need to lay it on thick, girl. So when you think you have enough, add some more, bitch. Before we go all the way down the neck, I like to go back in with my um, powder. And I just like to go over the oh. brow one more time. Okay. So it can kind of you know, like unify with the foundation. So he's actually putting the foundation straight on top of the brows and I'm so freaking scared. Wish me luck, guys. Oh, I'm scared. Oh my God, it's officially no brows. This is crazy, guys. I feel like I'm literally making a full transformation into an egg. My forehead is like a 10 finger forehead right now. Okay, I'm gonna go in with some more setting powder. And he said just to set it again. I'm not gonna lie though, my skin feels very heavy. It's definitely not an everyday makeup look that we're doing right about now, but we are celebrating Pride Month, woo! I'm so sad that Pride has been canceled this year. Do you guys just ever think like, if the coronavirus wasn't around, what would we be doing right now? Guys, I'm so annoyed at myself. I was dabbing so strongly that I kind of moved the brows and now there's some brow hairs pinging out and there's nothing I can do about it. Okay, so I literally laid up a thick layer of foundation guys I think I've done like two and a half layers I literally feel like I've got cement on my face right now but I do feel very flawless like my skin looks so damn even now that your face is fully plastered we are going to move on to highlight and contour Ooh, highlight and now with just some liquid foundation again we're gonna go Ooh, in yeah, with he's going with a lighter shade highlight. of Kat Von D so wow smear. he's going light okay and smear. I feel like I should have gone maybe a bit darker with my Some foundation. Some people look so glamorous when putting on their makeup. Like, they're just like... Yeah. Meanwhile, I'm like... <laughs> Me too! <laughs> I'm like... In the center of the forehead, wow. but homegirl doesn't need any more forehead than she already has. I've yeah. got a big-ass forehead as well, guys. I'm not gonna lie. I would say less is more for the nose. Unless you got a big old Squidward nose, then bitch, you better go in. A Squidward nose. You better go in, girl. Who are you calling big nose? Big nose? Hmm. 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 Drag queens have this ability to be able to put on this white ass highlight and then when they blend out they look so flawless so let's try that today. I haven't got a foundation as light as I would need for the highlighter so I'm just going to go in with a lighter concealer. This is from Hourglass in the shade Cotton. Okay so I'm just going to go underneath the eyes with the lighter shade and then he also done some on his forehead as well and then his nose. I always prefer to contour highlight together, so I'm just gonna watch the next bit and then I'll blend it all out in one go. Now we're gonna go in with our. Oh my god, he's using a lot of Kat Von D. Again, he's using, using Kat Von D left, right, center. Pull back my little updo, my pageant updo. Okay, so just around the forehead. Oh, you hear that sponge slap? Now we're gonna switch on over to an actual brush to contour the rest of the face. I just find it easier to do the jawline. For contour, we're gonna use the Born This Way Multi Use Sculpting Concealer in the shade Chestnut. So I'm gonna put on the back of my hand and use his technique of slapping the sponge on the forehead. So you want to blend that right into the hairline. That is a very tan forehead toy. And then he's going in with a brush and now he's going to paint it on instead. And your goal is to make it look like you haven't eaten in a week, so bitch, you better. Oh! You better cut that jawline. Okay. Wish I haven't been eating for weeks, guys. I've been stuffing my damn face. Natural. Womana. Womana. Okay, and he's just connecting And you're just going to blend that down the neck. Kind of like how you did on the forehead, give them that good old beige rainbow again. Yeah, oh, a beige rainbow, I love that. Okay, so he literally blended out his whole jawline. I don't know if I made the contour a bit too high up. I literally created like a whole nother jaw. My jaw's down here, bitch. Watch out, Kim. Oh. There's a new bitch in town. There's a new bitch in town. <laughs> okay, so he's putting it from the top here, and bringing it down. He's putting it a lot higher than what I normally would. Oh my god, I feel like Grand doing my makeup. I have to remember, this is like a drag makeup look, so you want to make sure everything is accentuated. I'm gonna carve myself some new damn cheekbones. You mainly want to focus on making your makeup stand out from far away, so it's kind of important to not overblend. I know, dare I say it, twee, not blending too much, you know? Normally I am the queen of blending. Guys, I don't know what my eyebrows are doing. They are slowly poking out because I keep making all these faces for TikTok and the soap is like coming through. Use the glue stick method that was shown in the tutorial. I should have been more prepared for this damn video. So you can see that he's using a darker shade of the concealer and he's kind of etching out the brows. Look how flat his damn brows are, God damn it. Wish me luck. So I'm literally gonna go in with that concealer before. I look like Ursula from The Little Mermaid. 
You belong to me. No, Harry! It's hard enough doing normal eyebrows and getting it even. Imagine just drawing something completely off the grid on your face. Brows are literally like a make or break for drag queen looks. If your brows are bad, it's game over, honey. Why do I look so evil? Okay, guys, I literally had to wipe off those concealer brows and kind of do it again. Kind of happier with the shape now. It's a bit more realistic. That one was literally like a tall ass hill. It was like Jack and Jill went up the hill. <laughs> Today we are going full coverage. Full coverage, girl. I feel putting the powder down. Like I have really a ton of makeup on right now. Together. Okay, so I'm gonna use this powder from Ciate. My friends have been saying it's amazing. It's called the Everyday Vacay Powder. I'm using a Laura Mercier puff, and you want to make sure you dab. No sweeping at this point. Okay, so I think it's powdered. Oh my god, it looks so much better now that it's powdered. I honestly feel like that powder kind of melted everything together. It looks so much more flawless now. I actually feel confident going out like this, guys. So if you guys were looking for just a simple tutorial, you know, just to go to the grocery store, you yeah, can just we're stop going, right here. We're literally going to go to the grocery store. Full on Jersey ho. Keep watching for the eyes. So I'm going to do a two-tone eye for you guys. I'm going to do some purple, some pink, some blue. That's three, I'm aware, but you just blend Purple's them all together. Pink and blue. It looks like right two. Right on my street, It is guys. the look I did for the fringe oh challenge gosh, and you know, for the promo amazing. shoot. It's kind of like my go-to bubblegum yes. bitch look. You start with the bubble blue gum eyeshadow bitch. on oh the my top, God. and you're really just going to kind of etch that in there. Okay, since this is a pride tutorial, I really wanted to use some house laboratories on my YouTube channel. You know, Lady Gaga, she is such an amazing advocate for LGBTQ+, and the whole gay pride movement. So of course I had to use a little bit of Gaga in here. Okay, so I'm probably gonna have to mix quite a couple different palettes because I think he used like a bright pink in a minute, but we're gonna go in with this shade called Sin or sign? I have no idea how to pronounce this, guys. Okay, so I'm using quite a big eyeshadow brush because he looked like he went in, girl. I am very scared, but YOLO. This is a lot of eyeshadow to go in heavy like this, but okay. This is why we need to follow other people's tutorials so that we can learn new techniques, right? Right? I would say drag queen makeup is definitely up there along with one of the hardest makeup looks to do. Did you guys know that it was illegal to be gay all the way until the 1970s. Like, that's not even that long ago. I literally can't believe the amount of change that has happened in such a short amount of time. I still can't believe there's places in the world where it's actually illegal to be gay. Why are people so opposed to people living their life? Like, what has anyone's sexual preference got to do with anyone else? If you are bi, if you are gay, just know that there's nothing wrong with you. Come out whenever you are ready to come out. Nowadays, it's just so much easier you know there's so much more videos that you can watch there's so much more openly gay people so don't ever feel like you're weird or you are not going to be accepted because in today's society i feel like this is probably the time to live your truth you know okay so we've got the blue eyeshadow on looking a bit cray cray but it's okay the next step i like to do is take my cream highlighter again my liquid foundation highlighter okay. i'm going to start at the brow and blend it down and then set that with some white eyeshadow Okay, so he's carving out his brows. My brows look crazy. Kind oh my god, he's literally going blue. white eyeshadow. Jesus Christ. Now we're gonna go in with like a lighter, like minty blue, and we're gonna like blend between the two shades. I can see it. Okay, it's blending out. Okay, okay, okay. We can do it, guys. Okay, so underneath my eyes, I'm gonna go in with actual like a white concealer. This is from Morphe. Use code TWEE. Don't forget about that code, guys. I know a lot of people are forgetting about me. If you are buying anything from Morphe, help your sister out by using my code. You know what I'm saying, guys? Okay, so underneath my brow, this just helps kind of carve out that fake brow that we created. Okay, so now we're gonna go in with the next step and we're actually gonna blend out this harsh line. So I'm gonna go in with Enigma, which is like a lighter blue shade. And then I'm just gonna blend these two colors together. It's actually a really, really good tip that I literally just learned from this tutorial is to literally go in with these two harsh shades and then just use a shade in the middle and blend it together. And just like that, something that probably would have took me a whole hour took me less than 10 minutes. You learn something new every day, don't ya? See how that just really helps blend the two shades together, obviously. It so really it did. Like mess. Wow. Now we're going to carve out the eyelid. This is to give yeah. the illusion of a brand new eyelid. Make Cut sure crease time! Because I have very hooded, tiny eyelids. I'm so hooded too. Oh my god, he's literally going in with the concealer. Okay, okay. Now we're going to take that same brush we used before with the blue, and we're just going to pat that on the outer corner. Now we're gonna go in with a white shadow and we're gonna set the white on the lid. White concealer again, and he's literally carving all of this bit out. This is like my cut crease dream right here. 
going all the way up near my brows. I've never gone up this high before. Okay, I'm gonna go in with 911. I'm literally gonna set this white on the lid. If you've never been to a drag queen show before, they basically have people throwing money at them left, right and centre while they are dancing. And this girl, right, she had the fattest ass ever. Like, literally a stripper ass. It was so fat. It was definitely a BBL, I'm not gonna lie. You know, we could tell that BBL hips, she was looking fabulous. She literally got out of her purse, stacked. When I say stacks, I mean stacks of dollar dollar bills. And she was just throwing it out, literally like what you see inside of the music videos. <laughs> And then she went all the way to the cash machine, which is outside, and she got even more money. She literally got stacks. I don't even know if there were dollar bills, hundred dollar bills, who knows, but she was just throwing it out to the drag queens and it just felt so like, ah, even though it wasn't my money, I was just like, what? So free, you can really tell that it's a safe place for people just to be themselves and I don't know how drag queens do it guys I honestly feel like it's like an alter ego because they just turn on and they're so funny and they're so witty And they think of the quickest things on the top of their head Okay, so he also got some blue eyeshadow and he literally just blended it in like this And then just to jazz up the look a little bit, I'm gonna take this shade called peace I'm just gonna blend these two shades together. Okay, he's going in with darker brown wetting the brush it's time for my brow transformation because these brows are not it, honey girl. So I'm going to go in with the Browsings Pro Palette from Benefit. Oh my God, this is so worn, abused. I literally love it so much. So let's just spray a little bit of setting spray into here. And then I literally just go in with an angled brush. And then I'm going to go in with this shade here. A lot of times when you wet some eyeshadows, they go really, really crumbly. But this one literally just goes into a pomade. So I'm going to try to do like hair-like strokes just so it looks a bit more realistic, you know? Yeah, we're going to add a little sexiness to the eyes. We're going to smoke sexiness. out the sides a little bit. Piece of paper you have. He's and using the black, black eyeshadow with one of those papers where you get your Keep earrings going. from. <gasps> Boom, sex. Wow. I just like the black there. So I just feel like it gives way more drama to the eye, a little bit more sexiness. Okay, so I got my little earring holder thing. So I'm just gonna hold it here. You know, because sometimes I wanna do this line, but I don't wanna put on tape because it would ruin the rest of my foundation. This is why I recommend doing drag makeup or trying something different than what you would normally try because that's the only way you learn new shit, you know? Bam, bitch. Mm. Favorite slash least favorite part, putting on eyeliner. Ugh, oh, so eyeliner. Be very careful. So I just got these new NYX Epic liners in and you guys know how much I love the liquid liner pen. It's been a while since NYX bought anything new. Oh, this liquid liner is super thick. It kind of reminds me of Liquid Last from MAC. All right, kiddos, we are done sculpting up the top of the eye. Now we are going to move on to the bottom. Lovely. So just gonna kind of press this right under the eye. Just go big or go home. So now once you're done looking like you have the most horrific case of pink eye, you wanna blend it out. <laughs> Just to give he's actually drama. so good at makeup. Like his makeup, all right, now we're you can literally see from what extra powder so on our face. Just take a big old fluffy brush. You've been cooking long enough, home girl. Okay, so I'm gonna go in with a good old James Charles Morphe palette. This has a really nice bright pink in here. Remember to use code Twee. Remember what I told you earlier? Yeah. Bet you forgot already. I'm gonna dab this underneath my eyes. All right, now we're gonna go in and get rid of all the extra powder on our face. Just take a big old fluffy brush. Okay. So I'm gonna take the same brush. Oh God, we're gonna why dip into a little off bit the eyes? of um, bronzer. Okay. We need bronzer. And then if you wanted more intensified, which I probably do. And take a little bit of a white, throw that on there. Okay, I'm gonna go with Benefit Hula Bronzer, just to bronze up my skin a bit more. And then he said that he's adding a little bit of white to his cheekbone, which I'm like, white? I'm gonna grab that white that I used earlier. Hopefully there's no blue in here. And literally just add it to the top of the cheekbone. It's actually quite nice. And then I like to go in with that other powder, or setting powder, just throw a little bit of that under here, let it cook. I need to start cooking more. We want to put on some mascara so we stop looking so psychotic with these bright white eyelashes. Yes, we do. A sure you know. little bit of powder underneath the cheekbones to let it cook. I really like the fact that this tutorial is not really about the products. It's literally just about the makeup. Okay, guys, so at least just added lashes because I just wanted to see what the look would look like. I know he hasn't added lashes yet, but I was getting a little bit scared. So these are the Baddie B Extra lashes. These are super, super long. While they are drying, I kind of want them to stick up. So I'm literally just like blinking with my finger like this. I like to do this like cute little blushy thing where like you just do this like real distributed pink blush and you're just gonna literally slam that right here. This is crazy. Oh God, he's and I'm talking just go on like here. overload with this girl. Oh my God, this is so cute guys. I can't believe it's coming together 
covers so well. I'm gonna go in with Jouer Citrine Highlighter. Look at my hands, guys. Look at my fingers. Oh my god, this highlighter is so gorgeous. We are going to finish off this inner corner of the eye. I like to give that real wide eye doll like look. So okay. we're gonna take a really small brush and we're just gonna like paint it on. Yeah, we're going to the finishing brush, touches now, guys. For your glitter, take the back. Oh, he's putting glitter. glitter. Blue. Pack that on the inner corner. Oh, that looks so pretty. Ooh. Ooh. Okay. Gorgina George. Oh, Gorgina George. That's my yes. drag queen name. I'm just going to use it. Okay, so he used that white base and he kind of like made this bit a bit more pointy just so it finishes off the look a little bit. Okay, so I'm going to use a glitter on the inner corners. This is Frosted by Anastasia Beverly Hills. Okay, the glitter's going on. Oh my God, that's so freaking beautiful. Okay, guys, I'm back. I literally just had to run off and go and take out my contraceptive implant. Can you guys believe I had to go to a sexual health clinic looking like this? The commitment to YouTube is real right now, okay? We're gonna do some freckles on the face. Okay, I'm freckles just gonna use on the a, face. Uh, now. liquid lip stain and we're just gonna lightly dot it on the nose. Okay. Okay, so instead of using a liquid lipstick for the freckles, I'm gonna go in with a lip pencil. This is from Morphe called Bar. Literally like super random. I wish I looked cuter with freckles. Whenever I see my friends do it, I'm like, oh, I look so cute on you when I do it. I'm like, it literally looks like I've got flies on my face. God, see, that just doesn't look right on me. It literally looks like I've got moles. Okay, guys, I honestly felt like I could have skipped the freckles. It just literally looks like flies landed on my face. Now, we're gonna do some lips. Oh, lip like time. I like a big, juicy nude lip now. I used to Who love doesn't love a big, juicy lips, nude lip? I'm just living that nude fantasy because I love to be nude, just like on Instagram. So here we go. <laughs> I think the freckles look so good on him because he naturally has freckles. But for me, I don't know. It just looks weird. Oh my God, he's drawn over his lips so much. That is overdrawing if I haven't seen it before. <laughs> Once you got that on, let that dry. And then we're going to overload on gloss. Now I'm going to take a little bit of hairspray. Oh, hairspray. Okay. Wow. That doesn't look like hairspray. A little bit of glitter or a lot, whatever oh. you're feeling. He's pouring mm -hmm. on glitter. Honey, what? You're just gonna show oh my god, yourself. I love this! Now we're gonna grab our gloss. Glossy, gloss, just gloss. Smother that on. Oh, that's a center, nice gloss. It Looks like a concealer almost, but I like it. All right, now it is time for contacts and lashes. So weird that he does his lashes last, right? And the contacts just give you a way more dramatic look. Oh my god, I should put on some contacts as well. Look at those lashes, guys. Those are hefty I lashes. I literally just cut up random eyelashes and I just make little pieces and stick them on. This is my perfect bubblegum bitch amazing. Jersey girl realness. It gives Look you the power hair, to play with color, be over outfit. the top. Right now, I feel like Gold Michelle Vassage's daughter that she yells at for the The bigger the hoop, the bigger the, the, hoop, the, bigger the, the hell. Internet, but hey. we all know that. Okay, so the liquid lips I'm going to use is Starfish from Anastasia Beverly Hills. So he overlined the lip like crazy. I'm literally drawing on my skin right now. Okay, and then I'm going to overdraw the bottom. <laughs> I'm literally like putting it right underneath my bottom lip. Damn, daddy. My lips look crazy. I feel like I need to go smoke a cigarette and have like a raspy voice. Do you know what I mean? I look like a character from Shrek. Excuse me, I, I, I'm looking for the ugly stepsister. Okay, so for my lips, I'm going to go in this really, really light lip gloss. It's Myth by MAC. Juicy. Hello, mamacita. Reminds me of my old filler lips, guys. Oh my god, I literally look like I've got sausage lips. Ah! This is me when I first got lip filler, guys. I was addicted at one point. <laughs> okay, so I'm gonna spray a bit of setting spray. And I'm just gonna tap this. This is why he done the eyelashes last. I'm so stupid. Okay, so I'm literally just cutting up random little pieces of eyelashes. And I'm just gonna shove these onto my eye. Okay, guys, so I literally just finished this look. I tried to do my hair like Ariel Versace's hair. Obviously, he has an amazing wig, and I just have my natural hair. And I literally, I'm so shit at styling hair. I also added some blue contacts. These are Desio Romantic Blue contacts. And also, how cute is this top? This is actually from Boohoo, but look how big the sleeves are. Very drag queen esque. Hey! Hopefully, you guys got the little essence of this makeup look. Obviously, this video is a homage to Pride Month. Remember, you are beautiful inside and out. Don't ever let anyone make you feel less than. You are worthy. You are amazing. Don't let anyone say anything to you and put you down for being who you are. Hopefully, we can celebrate Pride when all of this crazy COVID situation is over. I hope you guys enjoyed this makeup look. If you guys haven't seen RuPaul's Drag Race yet, please go and watch it. It's actually on Netflix, especially season season 11 because that, that is the season that Ariel Versace is on. As you can tell from the video, he's so funny, so hilarious and so amazing at makeup. I think he also has a YouTube channel as well. So definitely go and subscribe to him. And that's it for this drag queen makeup tutorial. Let me know if I did this makeup look justice and I'll see you guys in my next one. Bye guys. Enjoy the bloopers.
Oh, is the mic on? Yes, I see two lines. That's great. I've learnt my lesson. Hello, Virgin Media. Do I have to sue you? I'd stank ass, okay? I'm paying for 300 meg internet. So why do I see the buffering sign? Loading. It's taking a long ass time to load, guys. Hello, are you working? My internet is so slow. It's set on auto and it's one 44p. Normally it should be 1080p, maybe 720p, or at its worst it should be 480p. What is 144p? What the hell? Okay, where is my soap? That would be a great start if I had things ready, wouldn't it? It's always when you're in a rush, you can't find shit. Where is the puff? I lost the puff. The puff was just here. Where's the puff, puff, puff? I feel like I need a drag name now. Mm. How to find your drag name okay i just found this website it says what would your drag name be my drag name is frida cutter bitch frida cutter bitch coming at ya Ow. <laughs>